Hi there and welcome to the UXF channel and welcome to the final video in DGBEU about the final exam. My name is Dr. Christopher Russell. I'm a music educator and I also run the UXF.info website, youtube.com slash UXF and youtube.com slash UKPlaylongs, not to mention techandmusiced.com. DGBEU is a free systematic method to get you going playing baritone ukulele so then you can go on to other resources. This video is all about the final exam and what you need to do to complete the course. First of all, you need to make a video of yourself playing and singing a song with at least four of the chords that we have learned. And those four chords would need to be G, C, E minor, and then D or D7. Either one is fine. So again, G, C, E minor, and then D or D7. If the song has more chords than that, that's fine. It does not have to be one of the songs from the course. But you do need to be playing and singing, even if you don't consider yourself a great singer. You can share that a number of ways. You could, for example, put it on our DGBEU Facebook site. Or you could load it to a Google Drive somewhere and make sure that the sharing settings are arranged that when you share a link, you can uh, copy it and paste it and share that video. Ultimately, what you'll do is when you take that written final exam, you'll actually paste a link to your video in that spot. Even if it's on the Facebook group, you can get a link to the video and bring it there. Second, in addition to making the video, you'll have to do a written exam. It's on a Google form to show that you have a understanding of all the concepts that were taught all the way back from the first lesson of B101 all the way through B102. I need to add that the exam is not written in a way to trick you. So there aren't questions that are craftily written to try to make you super guess what you're doing. It should be pretty straightforward and pretty easy to provide the right answers. If your video shows that you can play and sing the song, again, we're not rating your singing, but it shows that you can get through it and play the chords. And if you can pass the written exam with an 85% accuracy, you will be considered to have passed the course. At that point, make sure that your name is in the Google form as well as your correct email address. And your name is spelled how you would want it on a certificate that will be emailed to you, as well as a document that will say that you've done 10 hours of work. So I'm assuming that after you've watched all these videos and practiced and then made a recording video, that you will have about at least 10 hours invested into this course. If you are an educator, check with your local licensing organization to see if you can count those hours towards clock hours towards a license renewal. What's the next step? There are a lot of them. You should have a good foundation now that you can go and start finding other resources. However, in the downloadable resource for DGBEU, you will find a list of a few other YouTube channels or resources that you can go to if you want to take things yet further to the next level. You are certainly invited to subscribe to the youtube.com slash ukestuff channel and the youtube.com slash ukeplaylong channels, as well as to follow what is written or published in the ukestuff.info blog. But ultimately, the goal here is to get you going to additional resources in your own playing in the years to come. I hope you found this method useful. I hope that you've grown from it. And I really do wish you the best as you continue to make music in your life. Thank you for making this course and my teaching a part of your life. And I hope you're having a great day. And I will be back soon with some more Uke stuff for you.